In his farewell speech, Sachin Tendulkar said, My life between 22 yards for 24 years. It's hard to believe that wonderful journey is coming to an end. It truly was a journey that we loved watching. A journey in which we switched on our TVs and switched off our lives. Today, we embark on a different journey. A journey to find the most switched on cricket quizzing team in the UAE. A team that will not only have the honour of lifting the Colours Crick Quiz Championship trophy, but will also win an all-expenses-paid trip to the home of cricket, the Lord's Cricket Ground in London. Hi, I'm Kubra Seth. And I'm Sid and we will be your quiz masters in this journey. Welcome to the Colours Crick Quiz 2015, powered by Sanford Electronics in association with Snickers, Pringles and Westar Watches and our official clothing partners, Anta. Our eliminations found 15 teams who believe they know the game better than anyone else. So let's meet the first three teams. Hello boys, welcome Hello. to the show. Hello. So team number one, Maxwell's Demons. Why is it Maxwell's Demons? So Maxwell's Demon was a scientific thought experiment in the 19th century. In 2015, we are fans of Glenn Maxwell and hope to you how he utilizes his demon to switch it and reverse sweep our way to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Welcome to the show. May we see the demon inside you. But before that, please tell us your names. Uh, I am Krishnamurti. Okay. Hi, Krishna. I am Ramki. Hi, Welcome. Ramki. Alright, fantastic. Moving on. Our next team. What are your names? Uh, I am Sandeep. Ali. Sandeep, Ali, the grasshoppers. Yes. Do you all have a demon inside you or are you like the dainty little grasshopper? No, no, we hope to hop our way to the victory. <laughs> yeah. That's why we name grasshoppers. All right. And why the grasshoppers? Why is your name? Uh, you know, cricket yes. in other countries is more famous as an insect rather than the sport. Oh. So the other name of the insect cricket was grasshopper. Well done, boys. Thank and you. moving to our last team of the day, City1016. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Manawar Ahmed. Hi, I'm Tamsil. And we are representing here uh, Dubai's number one radio channel, City 1016. Well done, boys. Welcome, all of welcome, you. A very, welcome. very warm Thank welcome. You. Uh, so, are you all ready? Shall we get the show on the road? All right, yes, go ahead. Please. Thank you. All right, G. So, let's go straight into our first round. Snickers, single or boundary round. So, Snickers, you're not you when you're hungry. There are six questions in this round. Two questions per team. Before the question is asked to the team, they will be asked single or boundary. If the team says single, they will be asked a simple question which will be worth 10 points. If the team says boundary, they will be asked a difficult question which will be worth 40 points. 10 seconds to answer. Questions will not pass on in this round. So, are you guys ready? Yes. 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 Is that like, can, let's have an affirmative yes. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Excellent. So let's go ahead and ask our first team, Maxwell's Demons. So Maxwell Demons, what is it going to be? A single or a boundary? A boundary in line with our team name. So boundary it is. Your question is, what was unique about Graham Fowler's two centuries in a match against Warwickshire in the year 1982? So, uh, the uniqueness was he carried his bat right through the innings in both, on both the occasions. <laughs> Too bad. Time is also up and the answer is also wrong. But wait, let's ask the other two teams. Do you know the answer to this one? No? no. Anybody? No. City 1016. No. No? No. no? So the right answer is that both his centuries were scored with the help of a runner. Okay. Too bad. Moving on, the grasshoppers. Are you ready? Yes. Absolutely. Are you going to take a single or a boundary? Go for a single. All right. So single it is, and uh, ten seconds cut time. As soon as we finish off with the question, are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. For which country did Duncan Albert Sharp play Test cricket? Time starts now. Yeah. England. That's the wrong answer. Oh. That was actually one of the easiest questions that we've got. So, do we have any? Uh, Let's say East Africa. East Africa. Oh. East Africa. Well, there you go. Eh, all wrong answers. India. The right answer Africa. is Pakistan. Oh. Third team on the block, City One Zero One Six. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah ready. What is it going to be? A single or a boundary? We'll go for a quick signal. Okay. okay. So it is a quick single for you. Quick single. Your question is. Who was the first cricketer to score a hundred in each innings of a test at Lord's? Uh, 
Time starts now. Uh, w WG Grace. That is the wrong answer. The right answer is George Headley in the year 1939. Did anybody else know this? No. No, I remember. Hmm. All right. <laughs> but that's all right. You've got a chance to come back. It's the second round of the same, the exact same format. You will be asked if you need a single or a boundary. Is it going to be a single or a boundary for you? Boundary again. Boundary it is. Your question for 40 points. Who is the only South African test cricketer whose first name begins with an X? Xenophon Balaskas. Correct. A Xenophon Balaskas. And with that, they have topped the charts all of a sudden out of nowhere. This is 40 points for our first team. Maxwell's Demons. Congratulations. Well Quickly played. moving on. So what is it going to be? A single or a boundary? A single. single. Still playing it safe? Yeah, yes. Okay. Alright. Your question is, when Mark Waugh broke the record for test catches by a fielder, who was the England batsman? Time starts now. Test catches by a fielder who was the England batsman. Uh, was it Alex Stewart? That's the wrong answer. Uh, Does anyone else know the answer? It was Darren Guff. Yeah. Well, with that, we move to the last question of the first round, City 1016. Is it going to be a single or a boundary for you? It will be boundary. All right, boundary it is. Who was the first West Indian to play test cricket for England? It starts now. Uh, George Hadley. That is the wrong answer. The right answer is George Robert Canning Harris, also known as Lord Harris. Well, with that, we come to the end of our first round. Yeah, some of you took chances. You flew well. Some of you didn't do that well. But yeah, what are the scores like, Cobra? Well, we're going to start with City 1016. Zero points. But that can always change in our next few rounds. Moving on, the Grasshoppers. You really like a tie, right? So you're working on an equal zero. Congratulations. And of course, leaders on our scoreboard right now, Maxwell's Demons with 40 points. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well, with that, it's time for us to take a quick little break. Please stay with us right here at the Colors Quick Quiz 2015, powered by Sanford Electronics. In association with Snickers, Pringles, Westar Watches, and our official clothing partner, Anta. We will be back right after this short break. Welcome back to the Colors Crick Quiz 2015 powered by Sanford Electronics in association with Snickers, Pringles, Westar Watches and our official clothing partner, Anta. Now, does anyone know W.G. Grace, E.M. Grace and uh, G.F. Grace, how are they connected? They were brothers who played together in a test, I guess, in 1880. Yeah. Absolutely right. Where was the test? Head, uh, at the Oval, England's first test. Wow. At, at home. Yeah. Well done. Wow. Do you have any more, do you have any more <laughs> elaborations on this, E.M.? Fantastic. Who was, the, who was the guy against them or anything? No, not Australia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is absolutely correct. Well, the reason why we asked you this is because you will have to make connections exactly I like know, this in your Trying next round. Trend. It's a brand new round and it is called Pringles Cricket Connections. You will be shown some pictures of cricketers or pictures related to cricket. You'll have to tell us one unique fact, event or record that connects the pictures. Your answer has to be very specific. A total of three questions, one question per team. The question will pass on if the first team does not answer or gets it wrong. 20 points for a correct answer to a direct question. 10 points for a correct answer to a past question. No negative marks. 10 seconds to answer a direct question. 5 seconds to answer a past question. So Sid, shall we begin? Shall we begin? Yes. Yes. Alright, so Maxwell's Demons, here is your question. Look at the screen, it's a visual question. Your question is, what connects these three gentlemen? Uh, Chetan Sharma's hat-trick victims yeah. in the 1987 World Cup. Absolutely correct, yes. very well done, very well played. Congratulations Maxwell's Demons for getting that answer right. Moving on to the Grasshoppers. The next question is right here. These are the three of the eight people who have been a part of a record. 
what is the record? Time up. time up. Okay, so we pass it on to City 1016. Do you know the answer? Five seconds. He's the oldest player. That's the wrong answer. Maxwell's Demons. Uh, most ODI runs above 5,000 without scoring a century. Sorry, that is the wrong answer. Well, the right answer is out hit wicket at the World Cup. Now, moving on. Team City 1016, are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What connects these three gentlemen? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Go ahead. They both scored uh, triple hundred. Sorry? They all scored triple hundred. No. <gasps> Maxwell That's Demons. I think the highest percentage of runs in their team scores in tests, ODIs mm -hmm. and T20s. No no no, no. no, no, no. It's passed on to the next team. They were the first players to actually hit centuries in all the three formats of the game. Fantastic. So, do you want to like detail it down? Which are the sure. three formats? First was Charles Bannerman, I think in tests. Then it was, uh, I think, Chris Gale in T20s. And I don't actually remember the guy <laughs> in the one day years, but I know. Perfect. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yes, well, you got this absolutely right. Yes, it is Charles Bannerman in tests, Dennis Amos in ODIs, and Chris Gale in the T20 format. Very, very well played. Congratulations. We did not get to see much of Charles Bannerman and Dennis Amos in action, but we sure did get to see a lot from Chris Gale. And action is what it's all going to be in our next round. Yeah. It's called the Sanford Electronics Action Replay Round. This is an audio-visual round. A cricket clip will be played. The clip will be cut at a key point. You have to answer... What happens next? Your answer has to be very specific. A total of three questions, one question per team. The question will pass on if the first team does not answer or gets it wrong. 20 points for a correct answer to a direct question. 10 points for a correct answer to a past question. No negative marks. 10 seconds to answer a direct question. 5 seconds to answer a past question. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yep. Great. Awesome. So... Team Maxwell's Demons. Look at the screen. What happens next? Okay. So he slipped. He'll the ball will go further on. He'll slip again. He'll pick it. He'll get up. He'll throw it the third time. Well done! Well done! It was like you were watching it happen while you were explaining it. Very, very well done. Grasshoppers. Are you ready to earn yes. 20 points? Yes. Great. So here comes your audio visual. Tell us what happens next. What happens next? Okay, so actually Hasi is given out and he goes on to become Suresh Raina's first victim in ODIs. Uh, uh, it's uh, the uh, wrong uh, answer. Uh, the batsman is not out. Okay. The, the, uh, the, since the wicketkeeper he took the ball yeah. and tried to hit the ball, okay. but the, the batsman is within the crease and it's not out. The decision was reversed, it's not Give out. Give me more details. What, what happens, happens next? exactly next? What, what happens, happens next? There was uh, the bowler bowls the ball, and then he was trying to miss the ball. He misses the ball. The keeper catches the ball, and he hit the stumps. And the batsman is within the crease and inside the line. This is not out. Yeah. I'm just going to give you one more chance. What happens right after this screen? What happens after this? 
when it is out what happens after that after that it will go to the refer to the third empire and they will uh, they will go to the third empire and the third empire will give it not out okay guys you're very 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 close you have to tell me by scene what happens next this is your last chance the batsman starts walking thinking that he was out but it is really referred to the third empire he was almost about to walk the empire will go and stop him and then call him back it is not out that is the right answer brilliant well, well done. done well done well done so well congratulations after bagging points on that pass on question are you ready for your question yes, yes. great watch this clip and tell us what happens next is in rapturous applause Australian captain Alan Border walks to the crease for his 100th test. Oh, Alan Border certainly must have a lump in his throat. It was a magnificent ovation from a crowd that loves their sportsmen and women. Proud moment for Alan Border and his family. Always the gentleman. What happens next? Oh, uh, Alan Border was out on duck. Bravo. Well done. Great answer right there. Yes, Alan Border is bowled by a Kirtley Ambrose Yorker. Well played, teams. Ouch. Not the best way to get out in your 100th test. That ball was fast, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Look. Okay, Alan Border may have uh, got out for a duck, but uh, I'm quite sure it's not the same with the team scores. Kubra well, the teams are doing pretty well. Congratulations, Grasshoppers. You finally managed to open your account. <laughs> Ten points to you. you. Well done. City 1016, you're next with 30 points. <laughs> and ruling the roost, Maxwell's Demons, 80 points. Whoa. Well done. Time now for a short break. Stay with us at the Colors Crick Quiz 2015, owned by Sanford Electronics in association with Snickers, Pringles, Westar Watches, and our official clothing partner, Anta. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Colors Crick Quiz 2015, powered by Sanford Electronics in association with Snickers, Pringles, Westar Watches and our official clothing partner, Anta. We're down to the wire now. Yeah, just one more round to go and we find out our first semi-finalist. We may even find another semi-finalist here. That is correct, because even if you do not win, you could still make it to the semi-finals if you have the best losing score. Okay, guys, let's go straight into our next round. It's called the Wester Watches Rapid Fire Round. This round will be played at the buzzer. We will fire eight questions at you. The team that hits the buzzer first gets to answer. The question will not be completed if the buzzer is hit while it's being read. Answer within five seconds of hitting the buzzer. Ten points for a correct answer, minus five points for an incorrect answer or no answer after hitting the buzzer. Questions will not pass on in this round. Lots of points to be grabbed here. Are you ready, Sid? Absolutely. Are we ready, teams? Yes. yes. Here we go. Our first question. Other than cricket, WG Grace captained England professionally in which sport? Well, really sorry. You can't take that much time to answer this one. The right answer is lawn bowls. Next question. According to Robin Williams, cricket is like playing which sport on Valium? Ah, sorry, can't take so much time. It is baseball. Question number three. In 2014, who presented Mitchell Marsh, the baggy green test cap in Dubai? Maxwell's Demons. Jeff Marsh. That is the right answer. Well played. The next question, who was the first East Indian to represent West Indies? Can't take so long. The correct answer is Sonny Ramadhin. Next question, who was the Australian chairman of selectors when the first tied test match was played at Brisbane? Maxwell's Demons. Sir Don Bradman. Nice. Well, well played. Well done. Okay, guys. Next question. In the year 2012, which team won the inaugural Bangladesh Premier League T20? Mm. 
Time, Time up, up, guys. The right answer is Dhaka Gladiators. All right. Going on to the next question. Red Steel is a team from which Caribbean nation? <laughs> Maxwell's Demons. Trinidad and Tobago. Well played. That is the right answer. And last question. Where would you find the Manuka over? Canberra. Really, really well played. Yes, Canberra is the right answer. Congratulations. And that brings us to the end of the first episode of Colors Crick Quiz 2015. Kubra, how do they stand? Well, they're actually sitting, so... <laughs> but the funny part is, Grasshoppers, you are still sitting at the bottom of the table with 10 points. City 1016, 30 points. Leading the pack, 120 points, Maxwell Whoa! Demons! Well played, guys. You were seriously awesome. Yes, we have a winning team tonight, a team that just got one step closer to lifting the Colors Crick Quiz Championship trophy and a chance to win an all-expenses-paid trip to the home of cricket. The, the Lord's. Lord's Cricket Ground in London. That's it for this episode of Colors Crick Quiz 2015, powered by Stanford Electronics in association with Snickers, Pringles, Westar Watches and our official clothing partner, Anta. But before we go, we are going to hand out some fabulous prizes to the winners of tonight's episode. A Pringles hamper which includes an amazing pair of Beats headphones. And a watch each from Westar Water. Also, all of our contestants, they win themselves a participation trophy as well. Now, don't forget to tune in next week at the same time for another episode of the Cricket Quiz Show.